guys, welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about the sad reality of the end of my New Balance Beacon run. It appears they have been discontinued uh, after version 3 that came out in late 2020. I've never got confirmation, but they haven't come out with a new model and there's other people reporting that they have heard that uh, New Balance has discontinued the Beacon line. I learned about the New Balance, uh, New Balance first came out with Fresh Foam, I think in late 2014, early 2015, and they sold the Zante. It was a regular looking shoe. Uh, it weighed around nine ounces for a men's size nine. There were some people that were disappointed because the foam was a little bit firm, but I found that it was still very protective and it was somewhat firm and I kind of like a firm foam. So I, I really enjoyed the uh, Zante's. I, I probably ran in two or, I think I had a couple pair and then I had a pair of Zante Pursuits, which was a very similar shoe, um, Zante Solus. Uh, but in 2018, they came out with their new shoe that used the fresh foam technology and it was the Beacon V1. And they first came out in a men's size nine, they weighed like 7.3 or 7.4 ounces, a bit more in my men's size 11 and a half. This is still a version one that I have. This is the last pair I had uh, grouped up. I mean, that I had saved up. They, uh, all the beacons have worked well for me. They, they lasted me between 380 and 450 miles before I start feeling the wear. I do wear down the heels because uh, there's just a little bit of foam and then you're running on the fresh foam, but uh, I find they still last really well. They grip well. Uh, they've been, I, I've got another video that's about how these are some of my most versatile shoes and I still find that the case. Uh, they're pretty lightweight. They're well cushioned. I can use them for a variety of different runs. I can use them for long runs. I can use them for speedier stuff. They've worked well for me for everything. So I'm, I'm really gonna miss them. Uh, this is the particular pair I'm working on right now. I have this last last V1 pair of shoes. Um, I'm at about a little over 420 miles in these. They're actually wearing slower. So I am expecting these to go well over 500 miles. So I'm, I'm very happy with how these are working. Um, about a year later in 2019, they came out with the V2s. I've got one more pair of these that has not really been used. Uh, the outsole was the identical. They did change the upper somewhat and they changed this, the way the, the rear portion was, gave it this crinkly type design with the, the pull tab. But, but I still found they still fit me great. Uh, I had no problem with lockdown. The V2s have worked well for me too. I'm on my fifth or sixth pair of beacons right now with that V1. And then I've got this one V2 in, in uh, reserve, and I've got a pair of V3s that I just purchased a couple months ago. Uh, I think all you can find right now, they've been discontinued, but you still can find a lot of retailers, at least here in the US, that are selling the clearance V3s. Uh, I got these a couple months ago. Um, I will say that every time they come out with a new version of Beacon, when they went from the V1 to the V2, they added a couple tenths of an ounce in addition to that uh, change in the heel, but they still felt about the same. When they went to the V3s, they added a few more tenths of ounces. Um, the foam feels a little bit denser. I'm not exactly sure what, what the deal is. And they changed the outsole pattern just a little bit. Uh, they actually said they made some tweaks to the heel that were supposed to make it fit better. Uh, I've actually had a little bit more trouble with lockdown with these, uh, at least initial out of the box. I played with them some and I did a runner's knot and now I don't really have an issue. So I still have to get that great familiar beacon feel in these. Uh, I, I was having a little bit of trouble with them locking around my ankle, but uh, they're fine now. It just took me two or three runs to figure it out. I put about 15 miles on these V3s, so they're really relatively new. I just wanted to try them out and make sure they were gonna work for me. Uh, so they are dis discontinuing the beacons, it appears, but I will still be running in beacons for a while because I've got a 
still probably another 100, 150 miles in my old B1s, and then I've got a pair of B2s and B3s that are pretty much brand new. Anyway, it's a sad day for me that they're being discontinued, but at least I'll get to still enjoy them for a while. I uh, hope you found that interesting. I don't, don't know if that's uh, any use to you other than if you're interested in uh, getting a pair, you can still find the V3s real often here in the U.S. from some retailers on clearance at good prices. Uh, these shoes were actually a pretty good price to begin with. They were $120. They were selling brand new for $120 just a few months ago. And now you can find them for, you know, $80, $90. Bucks. And I, I've even seen them at Joe's New Balance for like $68. So uh, there are some deals to be had on the Beacon V3s if you're interested. Uh, other than that, I hope you're having a great week and keep moving.